Greetings everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have another reading for the sign of Scorpio for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and also cross watchers as well. So thank you for watching. Thank you to my lovely subscribers as well for your continued love and support on this channel. I'm truly grateful and I appreciate you all. And if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's jump into this reading. I've done a pre-shuffle already, so we'll start with these messages here to outline the reading. We have healing family issues. It says, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have calling in your soulmate, and it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And we have soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. So healing family issues, calling in your soulmate and soulmate. So let's lay out the tarot. Let me lay out the cards here. Tap into the energies. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. What's going on in your energy field during this time. So we've got the hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or you've got Virgo in your chart. So let's clarify these cards here. Get some more insight. We've got the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo or you've got Leo in your chart. We've also got the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. Could be dealing with a Taurus or you've got Taurus in your chart. The High Priestess here as well. Pisces energy. And we've got Four of Cups. So now that I've laid out the cards, I can see that this reading is picking up the energies of uh, someone that you have a deep connection with it looks like you share a deep connection with someone here we've got the high priestess the hermit hierophant this is a deep spiritual connection so it leads me to this yes this is your soulmate this is a soulmate connection i'm hearing twin flames yeah it does look deep it looks like a deep connection here so it looks like um, this is a situation where um, two soulmates are apart here in this situation. It leads me to this, calling in your soulmate. So uh, there is separation here between you and this person that you share this connection with. It does look like this is someone that is uh, either married or, or involved here in a family situation. We've got the Ten of Cups in reverse. So there is some sort of um, committed relationship here because of children. Yeah, leads me to this, healing family issues. Yeah, so um, someone in this situation is either married or they're just committed to a family situation here this is someone that has children so there's children involved in the situation yeah i feel like um with the ten of cups in reverse it's not a happy home you know whoever this person's got children with whoever's got children here with someone they're not happy with the person that they want they, that they're in that relationship with. It's they feel like it's not their soulmate. This is someone that feels a, a deep connection with you instead. You know, and I feel like they've been highlighted to this as well. We've got the sun. Yeah, the truth has been illuminated here. This is someone that is uh, getting an awakening here, starting to see through the illusion. It looks like, yeah, two of wands. This person's at a crossroads. They're at a crossroads, deciding, making, trying to make a decision what to do here. Yeah, because they're, 
Yeah, I can see they, they're bored in that relationship that they're in. There's a lack of um, emotional fulfilment, lack of passion here, a lot of stagnancy in that relationship. That relationship is just not going anywhere. This is someone that's just in the relationship for the sake of the children, I feel. This is what I'm getting strongly. Someone here is just only in this marriage or commitment just for the sake of the children. They feel obligated to stay because of the children. Yeah, if this is a man, this is someone that's a... Uh, they're a good father, you know? Yeah, this is someone that's all about family. They're trying to do the right thing, I feel. I feel like this is someone that feels like they're trying to do the right thing by their children. At least. It looks like they are sacrificing their own happiness, though, for the sake of their children. Yeah. I mean... At the end of the day, this, you know, is... This is someone that, um... They're not really, um fully able to make their children happy if they're not happy within themselves this is someone that really needs to find their own happiness here uh yeah it's because it's not doing the children much favors I, I i really feel like this is someone whoever this is man or woman they're not doing the children much favors by staying in a unhealthy relationship just because of them you know, just using the children as an excuse, really, to stay in an unhealthy relationship. Because it's not really doing the children much favours, because these it's just these children are just uh, being exposed to an unhealthy environment, you know? It's just exposing children to an unhealthy relationship, an unhealthy environment, where there's no love. So uh, it's not really a good, good um, example, not being a good role model, really. You know, not really showing, the children's not being shown love here, real love in the situation. It's an unhealthy relationship, there's no love. And that's what the children are being exposed to. It's an unhealthy environment, really, to raise the children in. So it's not really doing them much favours. Maybe I feel like this is someone getting clarity here because I feel it looks like they want to uh, follow their heart. We've got the page of wands here. This is someone that wants something new. Yeah, they want something new with you. There's a strong pull towards you because you guys are soulmates. So there is a strong pull towards you here. This this is someone... um. that wants you in their life, you know, physically, I'm hearing, because I feel like you and this person connect in the 5D. You guys are very spiritual. High priestess here, hierophant, these are spiritual energies. You guys are very spiritual. I feel like you connect in the 5D, for, you know, you guys have telepathic communication. This is someone that you can con connect with telepathically, you know, this is someone that you could pick up on their thoughts and feelings. High Priestess is the energy of an empath. So you you have the ability to pick up on other people's energies around you. Very powerful. You know, this is someone that's powerful as well. With the Hierophant energy, it's very spiritual. You and this person both have strong spiritual gifts and strong spiritual abilities to really like influence the energies around you you know if you use your powers your skills and your gifts positively you have the power to uh, have a great impact on the world I'm getting this is what I'm saying if you guys was to come together in this connection here it's a it's, I'm hearing power couple Yeah, because if you guys come together and you combine your skills, your spiritual skills and ability and their spiritual skills and ability combined, wow, you have the power to manifest huge changes on this planet I'm getting. 
it looks like there is a deep purpose here for, in this connection. If you guys was, can, can come together, there's a deep purpose for this connection here for you and this for you and your person. Yeah, power couple I'm getting. But I just feel like with the high, high priestess in reverse, I feel like during this time, because you're aware of this person's um, current situation, that they're married and they're with someone else, they've got children with someone else and things like that, you've probably pulled out your energy to focus on yourself. High priestess came out in reverse, so you are withdrawn in this situation. You know, and this person's feeling your absence. They feel lonely, left out in the cold here, even though they're married or with somebody. They still feel alone because they're not feeling your energy. You pull back, you're withdrawn here. I can see that this person is upset about it. King of Swords in reverse. They're not happy about it because. <sighs> yeah, they, they miss you, this person. This person. They need your energy, you know, it brings them healing, I'm getting. But I feel like you're someone that's, uh, you're withdrawn because you're aware of what they got going on and you're, you're someone that's not a home wrecker, I feel. You're not, you don't want to, you're not someone that's, uh, you're not interfering in what this person's got going on, I feel. You're not interfering at all. Yeah, in fact, you're doing the complete opposite. This person is not getting much at attention from you, it looks like. Yeah, this is why they're upset. They may be upset. They may be a bit confused as well. Yeah, they're really in their feelings. Well, while they're sitting there in a relationship with someone else, they think about you. They're dream daydreaming about you all day long. Yeah. Wishing, I'm hearing, fantasizing, planning, and how to uh, make the situation right with you, how to approach you, offer you their love. Will you accept their love? There's a fear of rejection here. So this person's all up in their head most of the time, thinking about you and the situation. They are upset during this time that you have pulled back, I can see. So, uh, they are, they are missing you. Page of Wands, you, you, I can see a message coming through here from this person. Yeah, there's a message coming through from this person. They are praying. They are praying. I mean, I can see there's been, there's a lot of prayers here and meditating. Four of Cups, that's what I'm saying. They, they think about you all the time. A lot of meditation going on. High pre, uh, her hermit here. Soul searching, this is someone that takes a, a lot of time alone. I'm hearing loner. For some of you, this person, they're a loner. They like to be alone most of the time. Gather their thoughts. But yeah, they are connecting to uh, their inner selves here. Going within. And, you know, thinking about you here and you're picking up on their thoughts. You're picking up on this person's energy. It's strong. It's strong. But um, the sun is in this situation. So positive energy is coming through in this situation. It's like I'm hearing spells is being broken. Because this is what I'm picking up. Like someone here is getting gaining clarity here. There's been an awakening. Some sort of um truth has been illuminated here. Someone's able to see through the illusion. They're gaining clarity here. So if there was any spells on this connection between you and this person, it's been broken. We've got the sun here. Spells are being broken here. Because I really feel like this is such a powerful connection. A lot of people do not want to see you and this person together. I feel there's been a lot of work done on you and this person to keep you guys apart. Spell work. A lot of spell work has been done by either people in your personal life and people in this person's personal life as well. I feel like whoever they're married to or attached to in this family dynamic could be doing spell work on this person, you know, to keep them under an illusion here, to manipulate them. 
And it's just all to keep you guys apart, really. Because if you guys come together, it's powerful. You guys, you know, have the, have the ability to influence change, positive change on this whole planet, I feel. Or at least, you know, people around you, you know, people in your own world. But it only takes one, you know. Yeah, I feel like um, spells are being broken here with the sun energy. There's a spell being broken here. Someone's waking up. They can see through the illusion. Yeah. It's a, it, there's, there's positive changes taking place here. Like I can see, you're going to hear from this person. They, they, they're inspired to follow their heart during this time, it looks like. Yeah, you guys are getting closer together. I've got some angel answers here for this reading as well. So we have wait. So I feel like this is someone that wants you to wait for them. Yeah, they can see that you, you, you've withdrawn because of their situation. Maybe this is someone that's, that's uh, understanding why you have withdrawn. And they want to talk to you, clear up, bring in some clarity here for you. Because maybe you feel like this person, you know, doesn't uh, feel the same way about you. So, uh, they want to bring in some clarity here and tell you the truth and how they really feel. But um, this situation looks like it does require patience. This is why spirit says wait. If you are feeling, you know, like you want to move on from this situation here with this person... Even though you've got a strong connection, spirit says, wait. Yeah, a little, a little extra patience is required here just so that they can get uh, all the pieces in the right place during this time. Yeah, I feel like this person wants you to wait. This is a message from their higher self. They want you to wait for them because they are working on them. Yeah, sort of getting, figuring out the situation so that it works out for the best for everyone involved, really. Their children, especially. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that is uh, trying to figure out a best solution f for their children as well. Yeah, because I can see this is someone that is a family man. Family man or family woman, but, you know, it is important. So uh, they also say remain positive. Spirit says re remain positive. Yeah, positivity, you know, is breaking spells here. I can see with the sun here, it's positive energy. So your positive energy is helping to break the spells here. It's break the illusions, you know. Remain positive. All will work out well. Stay optimistic. Because it does look like... The universe is behind this connection here. The universe wants you guys to be together, I feel, you and this person, because you guys, you know, have some sort of power combined. If you and this person can come together, yeah, the healing is just amazing. I mean, the power you guys have to influence others, the positive influence, yeah, it's magical, I feel. Yeah, we have peaceful resolution. So this is uh, this is what's taking place here. It looks like the universe is uh, helping you guys in this situation so that it ends in a peaceful resolution. I feel like this is why they want you to wait. Spirit wants you to wait or this person wants you to wait because they are working on creating a peaceful resolution in this situation. Because if you guys were to come together now... I feel like it will be a lot of drama. Because there's still toxic energies. This person still has to detach from this toxic relationship here. I feel like whoever they're married to is uh, toxic. So it's important to have a peaceful resolution. And we have opportunity. So yeah, you will be blessed for your patience. You've got opportunity coming in. That's going to bring you abundance and prosperity. So you will be blessed for your patience. So your patience will be rewarded, it looks like. 
So that's the messages, you guys. I hope this reading helps. Thanks for watching. I wish you all the best and I'll be back soon.